Hello, hello. It's Deborah Berry time. Hi, everyone. Let's pull up. Hello, hello. I'm trying to get situated here. And I know my head looks crazy, but it's one of those days. Put some water on it, twist it up. I thought about putting my bun on. But today I'm going to be changing clothes for you, so I didn't want to have to fool with that. Anyway, welcome to my channel. Welcome back if you've been here before. And if you're new here, spend a little time with me and see if you like it. Subscribe, click the bell, and you'll be notified. I do a um, video once a week. Usually on Thursdays, I launch them beginning at 6 a.m. Don't ask me why. That's what I do. Anyway, today I want to talk about, uh, let's see, how do I want to put this? Styling and working with what's in your closet. You know, I'm a big advocate for what's in the closet already. You know, I love shopping, but, you know, we got things in our closet we can work with. I already put a few new pieces with what's already there and... I wanted to talk to you um, about your styling approach. But first, on my lips is my favorite Drama Rama MAC. You know, love, love, love this lipstick. I just, it's, it's, it's comfortable, it stays on, and it, and it works, you know. Last time I think I had orange on. That orange was throwing me off for some reason. I don't know why. It's either got to be raspberry, red, red, or this nice hot, hot pink. But anyway, I want to just let you know, I drank the Kool-Aid. <laughs> what I mean by that is, I bought the Charlotte Tilbury Instant Look of Love palette. I mean, it's been all over the, the, the channels and everything. And Michelle Wong reviewed it. Um, Kath, Kate the Great review, reviewed it. Wayne Goss, a, a lot of the... Uh, beauty bloggers have reviewed it and everyone seems to like it. Wayne Goss was the only one that said they're all right. <laughs> you know, but he's a professional and from that level of how a professional would use it to do makeup, it was that was only his critique, you know, he liked some of her others more. But I broke down and bought this, I think it was seventy five dollars. Uh, Nordstrom's had it. So I got it. And that's what I have on today essentially. But you know, and I'm like not trying to pick and choose. I like it, but the eyeshadow colors, I liked my Bobbi Brown set with the eyeshadow colors, but I used the eyeshadow in here, and I went into Bobbi Brown to do a little darker color, but I, I, I like the bronzer in here. I'll show it to you. I get it open here, and it's pretty. It's just the presentation is phenomenal, you know, the presentation colors and everything and I got the lighter one I wanted to get the darker one but now I know I don't need it but I've been hearing about her face powder how magical it is and it felt magical when I put it on though today however was a disaster day for me for makeup I don't know what was going on under the eyes just kept flaking and, and I don't know I just couldn't get that right I don't know what these brows are doing so I'm just here anyway. And if I look crazy, so be it. <laughs> Some days we just have to look crazy, huh? Why am I trying to put this back in it? Anyway, if you get a chance, check out the Tilbury. You know, her products are great and I kind of like it. But anyway, back to what I want. I wanted to talk about, I even took, wrote some notes down about how do you approach your styling? You know, approaching meaning some things inspire us, like a pair of earrings. You get a new pair of earrings, you can create an outfit around those earrings. You know, ladies, if we get a new pair of shoes, we can create an outfit over around some shoes. <laughs> Who hasn't done that? Or a new bag, or just a, a new necklace, a new sweater, you know, and, you know, shoes or the event coming up. I got to go to this luncheon or I got to go to this bridal shower. And you start there, and that inspires you. Sometimes accessory can inspire you. I wanted to um, talk about, you know, featuring things in your closet. You know, we always think we need to go shopping. I know, I always think I don't have it. I don't have it. But a lot of times, it's there. It's already there. 
and you know just shop your closet it can be your old I wrote down could could be all old pieces put together in a new way that's one way to do it and I'm gonna I have some on the rack over here I'm gonna uh, put old with new or old with old just to I want what I have on I didn't even talk about what I had on this is a old Ann Taylor dress and looks like I got stuff on it trying to get it on anyway excuse that but it's a beautiful I love black and white I love navy and white black and white you know me but I didn't even get to show you what it was it's a dress it's a nice cotton yeah, it has pockets you know we love pockets and it just in the back and simple a big tie the tie is made onto it and I love it. it's got some splits on the side it's not as long as I would like but I've worn it old pants for a look you know but anyway back to our fashion talk and let's see the addition of a new piece inspires her sometimes just one new piece I'm gonna create an outfit around that you know I can come up with something or you could be wearing the old pieces in a new kind of way and we do that a lot too so I'm sure all of my fashionistas know all of that it's nothing new under the Sun for you for that right but um, I'm gonna do a few little changes to show you I'm gonna do some black and white and I'm going to do some blue and white and the blue and white is, is basically chambray kind of like denim but not the heavy heavy blue jean denim you know a nice soft chambray I think I have over there yeah and uh, and of course ended in white huh so we'll get to that but uh, take a look at that and I'll come back and you know we'll see see what you think and hopefully You'll like it and you'll be inspired to go to your closet. All right, see you in a few. Bye. Look number one, still in black and white. This is a blouse I got a couple of years ago, I think, from Ann Taylor. I bought it twice. You're going to see it again in blue. But this is just my cotton black skirt from Brooks Brothers. And it's a wrap blouse, you know, and I have on my little black strap sandals and just simple black and white how about that ladies and I can carry either my nice Chanel clutch with it for a look or if I want to change that up and grab a little red Michael Kors you know just a little pop of color because black and white is like a neutral and gives you color you can put a little red with it, you could put green with it, you could put yellow with it, hot pink, or a neutral bag, you know, so there you go. And we're going to talk about, uh, you know, because these are old pieces, dug in the closet, let's wear them, you know, let's, you know, because that's what we want to do, we want to use our pieces that are there to enhance everything, and it's comfortable, and one day I'll get to wear this out in the world. I bought this skirt during COVID <laughs> last year, but it's hard to find. So black skirt. Anyway, look number one, and I'll be back. And if I do my arms like this one more time, just, you know, I'm going to slap myself. <laughs> anyway, see you on the next look. All right. Black and white always works, remember? I got a little crazy here. I put this plaid on with this embroidered but I think it kind of works it's kind of funky and fun and kind of against the grain for me because I'm so everything should go together I kept on the same little black shoes these are like a cropped pair I've had these for maybe three years maybe three years got them at banana and this is a top I bought at Banana Republic last year I ordered online during COVID <laughs> I was a COVID shopping person yeah, it's a little big on me up here, you know, my little mm, needs a little work. But again, ladies, I don't usually wear anything so low. I have all these freckles on my back, but hey, that's what you work with. And there go my arms, right? Anyway, this is a nice look. You can 
go to a picnic, you can go to a luncheon, you might need a shawl if it's an inside luncheon, you know, and I have this bag here. This is my everyday Eric Javits, you know, go shopping, lunch with the girls, you know, throw your bag on your shoulder and you're ready and you're comfortable and a nice little pair of black and white check pants. And I thought about it, I brought the black skirt back in here. I could easily put this on with this black skirt, you know, that would work too. So, you know, you get your black and whites, put them all together, wear them together, and you gotta look. That's classic, simple, and pretty, okay? Next up, how about a little chambray and a crisp white off the shoulder blouse? This is a Vince Camuto blouse I've had three years and I love it. It's got the little slits and it's comfortable. It's fun to iron, but it irons up nice, but it's, it just has great body. And I just, these pants, love these pants, ladies. They're soft, look at that, they're chambray, they're soft. Let me show you how they're made. They have like elastic in the waist, like what they do zip on this side. We have all this stitching all the way around. The stitching, they're by ink at Macy's. I just got these, so I'll, I'll list those. And they're wide leg and they're comfortable. And I just put on a little tan sandal. It's nice and cushiony and really feels good. And again, I can carry my straw bag with this, you know, tie a scarf around here, and I am good to go. Casual. I put on those Target earrings. If you looked at the video last week, I was debating whether to keep them. So I grabbed them today to put them on with this for you, but it's a great, comfortable look. And I have a, another blouse made like this by Ann Taylor but it rises up or something. This one stays. It's got this flat section in the front where most of them, you know, are elastic all the way around. But it's got this flat section that just makes it lay so nicely. So, hope you like that look. Oh. Have another casual one for you and we'll do that. Okay, ladies? Nice and fresh and crisp for summer. Okay, a little blue chambray on top, white stretch cropped pants on the bottom. These are really denim. They're like jeans. I got them at Macy's when I got the, uh, the other pair I just had on. But they're like a pair of jeans. But this is that blouse again, the black and white, the Ann Taylor one that wraps. And it's in a chambray. The chambray is always good for summertime when you want that look. Because this could go with a nice pair of dress slacks or a white skirt, some skinny pants. Oh, and I have on my little Nanette Lepore floral flats. You know, I could wear espadrilles with this. Or my Birkenstocks could go. My T-strap Birkenstocks would go good, too. But it's just a nice little comfortable look for summer day. Sit in the park, go to lunch do different things, you know. It's just something to wear, something to have. And these pants, oh my God, they stretch. They have the most wonderful stretch to them. I think they're by Ink also. Ink usually does pretty good for me at Macy's, you know. They're a denim, you know, blue jean. So I got them in a, a kind of a larger size, hopefully, that I won't lose too much weight, but that won't bother me but I'll get another pair if I do. So anyway, I hope you like this look. Simple, it's comfortable, it's summer, it's classic simple, and we make it pretty, right ladies? Coming up. Hello. It's all white, you know me in white. And I get to carry my favorite Eric Javits purse with the little gold feet. Such a sweet, sweet look. Ladies, this is just a summer dress. You can really see through it. It's, it's cool. It's for a hot day. This is a white jacket I've had. I got from Ann Taylor's probably 10, 15 years ago. 
It's a beautiful cotton and linen. It's got a weave to it. I don't know if you could see that. Just little, it's almost like a little Chanel jacket. It's very tiny, 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 but I love this jacket. And I love this purse and these shoes. You know, I can easily carry that one. I could carry this bag with my pearls on it that I zhooshed up. You know, that would look good with it, according to how you're wearing it. Um, of course, I could do any of these. Any of these bags would look great. This is kind of heavy with it, but this would be cute with it. You know, or my navy one with the embroidery. I since, since, since I don't have that in here with me right now, but this is an adorable little look. And the jacket, it's really, it could be a good beach cover up. If you went to the beach, put over your swimsuit and you wanted to go eat in the restaurant later. Well, I put this right here. But it's just a big loose dress. The straps were kind of too long on me. I tied a knot in each one and adjusted them back there. They button, but it's not touching. It's not doing anything. It's wonderful little white t-strap low wedges. I'm going to add a piece to this now that's going to blow your mind. One second. Look at this ladies. Look at this. I got this. We went to a fashion show March 2020 right before shutdown and there was a local fashions and this was the African cloth featuring the African cloths. Tell me this is not adorable, ladies. Could you just die with this? Look at it. It's one of those you just want to swirl, and, and when I saw the chick come down the runway in it, it was billowing, and she was working it, you know. She was doing, you know, all these twirls with it. I can't remember if she, what she had under, because I wanted to wear pants under, skinny pants and a top. You know, and the only thing, I, I wish it had pockets, but there are no side seams. It's all one piece. I could take it to the tail. I don't think I can get pockets, because what this with pockets? Do you know how it would work out? But, and it's really kind of big on me now. I would love to get it to fit and wear it like a dress. But it is so much fun. And I've been wanting to show this piece to you forever and ever, because just fun and lovely and pretty and that is the end of the fashions in my closet of the summery ones you know I ordered some stuff when that comes in I'll share it with you but this ladies is so beautiful and this fabric I got a thread here fabric is it's a heavy cotton I want you to see it's blue it's black and it's white and it's pretty 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 all right ladies I hope you enjoyed my time with you I hope you enjoyed my time with you I enjoyed my time with you I hope you enjoy the, the clothing you know wardrobe changes because it's like change right quick change right quick come back but I love doing it for you and I love sharing pretty things with you and I'm going to find something else to wear with this, even all black under it, you know, and just wear it somewhere, huh? somewhere you just want to twirl and twirl and twirl. All right, ladies, be good to yourself. I love you, and we'll do this again. Bye. All right, ladies, how'd you like it? Was it interesting? Was it not surprising or was it inspiring or did you just get a couple of ideas you know what you could do with what's in your closet and doing casual and you know just things to do so i like going through my closet for, i like shopping my closet for you and um i promise to fix my hair next time okay <laughs> i i promise to do something to my hair but i i I have my date that I record and it's, it is what it is and life happens. So anyway, ladies, as always, you know what we do here. We keep it simple. We keep it classic and we always, always make it oh so pretty. Remember, 
you must be the change you want to see in yourself. Till next week, love you all, and I'll talk to you then. Bye.